I'm delighted to be here at Portishead Marina at North Somerset's first rapid charging hub for electric vehicles. There are two 50 kilowatt rapid chargers serving four charging bays. So if the car can charge in under an hour, this is a really great location because you can go off and have a walk or use the leisure centre or use the shops, grab a coffee while you're waiting for it to charge. Which is really great in Portishead because lots of residents have been asking us, I would like to get an electric car, but I don't have my own parking space and there isn't enough on-street parking. With the 50 kilowatt chargers, then you're going to be able to put something like 50 miles of range into your car in 15 minutes. That's on average. This hub is part of the West of England Revived Charging Network, delivered by the Go Ultra Low West project. A total of 150 charging bays are being delivered by the region's four local authorities as part of the project. North Somerset has already installed 26 publicly accessible charging bays with 24 more fast or rapid charging bays in development. Well, the benefits of electric vehicles, I think, can be put into three groups. There's cost of running, environmental impact, and technologies. An electric vehicle will cost a third to a quarter of the fuel costs of an equivalent petrol and diesel car. There's also uh, reduced maintenance. I drive an electric vehicle because I want to minimise my carbon emissions and I can charge it on green electricity. It's also really smooth to drive. With more and more clean air zones, uh, people with electric cars are ahead of the game because they can enter those areas without being charged at all. The Revive Network is great for the west of England. As you can see, for local authorities, um, putting their money into developing something that specifically meets the needs of the local residents. We'll soon start construction at charge points at six new locations, including Nails, Ian Backwell and Western Supermare. This is all in line with North Somerset Council's commitment to being a carbon neutral area by 2030.